Good afternoon. Thank you very much. Welcome to uh, the final recital of the sixth annual um, String Fest here at, at UWF. Uh, we are tremendously happy to see everybody uh, face to face. Uh, it's, been, it's been a while that we have actually left so that many people in the audience. So it's, it's tremendously uh, refreshing and uh, exciting. Uh, last year we uh, had to do it online. Uh, the festival was very successful, but it's completely, it feels completely different uh, this year. And um, again, when we were organizing the festival, uh, there were still a lot of restrictions. So uh, our festival is smaller than it was two years ago, when we had almost two uh, students. This time we decided to um, have a festival just for uh, four string quartets, student string quartets. And, uh, um, limited it just to three hours in the morning. Uh, so we did not have really an opportunity to do the lessons and uh, we feel that we can really, students really would benefit with the lessons. So I uh, hold in my hand freshly from, from the uh, printing shop uh, the announcement about, you, you probably saw the flyer before, about the uh, UWF String Fest 2021 2.0. Uh, we are going to continue, and in August we are going to have a little uh, offshoot of this festival, uh, which will be called uh, very poetically Four Days in August workshop. And uh, all the students who do not have an opportunity to have lessons uh, at this moment uh, will be able to have private lessons with, uh, with a wonderful faculty. Uh, it will be, we will see how many people will sign up for it. I think it will be 20-30 uh, minute uh, individual lessons and we will be happy to, uh, to help the students with the individual uh, technique, with the left hand technique, right hand technique, posture, which uh, all the things that we worked uh, in our workshops here, but when it's one on one, it makes so much more sense and it, wor uh, it works beautifully. So we thought, beginning of the school year. Students are preparing um, for a long, long uh, year in orchestras. Uh, they are preparing for auditions in the, in the uh, school orchestras. They are preparing for, some of them are preparing for um, state, um, all state, all county auditions and other competitions um, that, um, that are happening this year. Hopefully, uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed. So, we will be able to provide uh, very individualized help to every student who will sign up for it. So, our helper, Sonia, my daughter, uh, holds in her, help, uh, in her hands uh, that's right, uh, the uh, application forms. Uh, we just uh, received uh, uh, an OK from the administration to uh, extend the deadline. Uh, we thought that today would be the deadline to pay for it. Uh, you have another week, uh, so send it. Uh, all the information is there. So if you if you would like to come up, or Sonia would come up to you, uh, get get. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And at the end, it will be also waiting there. But she's she's great. Mm -hmm. Very good. Just the pass it. Um, in the meantime, let me uh, give. Uh, all the faculty here a uh, chance to talk about this festival that has happened, the next festival. Uh, we, we, well, from, from my, my own, uh, deep from my heart, I would like to uh, thank all the administration here at, at the University of West Florida, at School of Music, uh, all our volunteers and helpers, uh, family members, my wife and my daughter, for working hard. Uh, Caroline Bronze, she is sitting there. She's a girl over there. One hour to do without. Tremendous work with the faculty. Oh, the faculty. This is this, uh, just, uh, it, it was such a pleasure to work with you guys. I'm so uh, um, nostalgic already. <laughs> because it, it, it was really an amazing week working with you and working with, with the kids. The kids, uh, mm -hmm. well, the kids, some of them, yeah, 17 years old. But uh, some of them are 10 years old. So all of them, uh, uh, 
have uh, done a tremendous job, and I don't even want to talk about this as a job, because there was tremendous, um, I think, well, musical and I think human work that you can see. String quartet is a very difficult genre, uh, not only in terms of technique uh, or sound, it's, it's an incredible genre that requires people to work together. All the students had an opportunity to practice as a quartet by themselves. We had uh, workshops about leadership in an orchestra, in a quartet setting. And uh, I can see how much more serious they are. Uh, uh, and actually, the playing is so much better. It's, it's, it, it is amazing what, what, what they accomplished in seven days. But without further ado. Oh, okay, Dr. Sasha, Thank you all for coming here. I'm really, really excited to start this concert. This whole week was really, really intense, but also really, really productive. They look tired, but they also were very excited to perform with you. We had three, three hours every day, straight with no break, and everyone was so, everyone was on time, no one was late, so thank you, thank you all guys for doing this amazing week. Um, so, yeah, the next next camp we'll do will be lessons mostly, and when talking to cellists and to their parents, and you can bring any piece you want to work on, or if you have any question about posture, about left or right hand, I can, I can answer those questions for you, and we can learn whatever you want to do. Some, you can bring some fun songs, I don't know, some Disney, Disney songs, we can also work on them. We can do a little bit of scale, a little bit of their, maybe you can play drum sonata, whatever, whatever you just want to work on. <laughs> but there will be some technical exercises, like we did on that 9 a.m. cello class. There will be some of those, and you, you did so well on them. <laughs> on them. Um, I started taking lessons when I was six years old, and I had two lessons a week, 45 minutes lesson, two, uh, two, two lessons a week since I was six. But at the same time, I didn't have as much of the chamber music opportunity as you all have. So I think those kind of camps are really, really great because in Russia we didn't have the three quartet camps at all. It was almost, almost, almost a lesson, 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 lesson. And here is the chamber music and orchestra. I think it's amazing. So it's a lot of fun. Hello, my name is Nan Naif, and I do want to say, like everyone else, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for supporting your child through all of this. I know that it wasn't always easy, I know that it's not always co convenient, that it's not free. But thank you so much for everything that you poured into these students. It has been such a joy working with these kids, and boy, our, our community has so much potential. So much potential to create the highest level musicians, and honestly, that is the goal. That is our goal as, as teachers. So I'm one, one of the violin faculty, and I teach at Brown Barge Middle School, so I'm one of the um, public school teachers. Thank you. Um, and so most of our students here are actually public school students, so it's really, really nice that we get to do something a little bit different. I know that not all of our schools get to work on chamber music, and you know, as a public school teacher, and I can say that because I am one of them, we can't teach it all. We can't do everything that we can do in a private lesson because we have so many students at one time. And maybe we're fortunate, so maybe some students are fortunate to get about 30 seconds to a few minutes of one-on-one -on -one time with their teacher who has to then go and jump to the next student or work the whole classroom. And one of our public school teachers are here as well, Miss Christina Aldehondo. Thank you for sending your students. So, so wonderful to teach them, they're all amazing. Um, so like I said, we can't teach at all, and that really goes, really iterates how important private lessons are. So my sister and I, we started in a public school program at 11 years old at Bellevue Middle School. And we went through a program, and we just loved music. And you know, sometimes you, you don't know what you don't know. And so when we took private lessons really late, we were junior year, we came to a festival, and Dr. Nosky approached us and said, you need private lessons. And we're like, oh, what are those? <laughs> We take orchestra in school, you know, and so we ended up taking private lessons, but we came from a very, I don't want to say poor background, but our, we just didn't want to roll in money or anything, you know, and so he taught us 
for extremely discounted free, in fact, most of the time. Yeah. Extremely discounted. Did you notice they're twins? We are twins. Um, extremely discounted, and I have to say, taking private lessons has made me the musician that I am today. I, w I really don't even think I would be a musician if I didn't take private lessons. I'm so glad that I am a musician because I can't think of a better thing to do with my time, a better thing to do for my community, and to just be a, a good human being. I think music is just the best thing that you can do. It doesn't always pay really well, but it just depends on how far you go with it. So if you want to be paid really well, then lessons are really, really important because if you want to have a career in it. Um, my only regret, I have to say, was not taking private lessons sooner. I know, I know that if I had started sooner, I would be in an even better position today. And who knows, I could be in the New York Philharmonic Concert Cabal, whatever those wonderful, amazing orchestras that we study and listen to and adore so much on Spotify or buy a CD or listen to on YouTube. I know that I would probably be one of them if I had started sooner, and that's really why it's so critical. And maybe, and some of our students, maybe they don't know. They don't know if they want to go all the way to the level of being a professional musician. For instance, I actually started UWF as a general education major. No music, because I was like, I'm not that good. I don't, I don't think I would be a good, a good musician. And then, you know, taking private lessons with Jafanowski, you know, he's trying to convince me, you are so talented. You have such a good heart. Like, this is good for you. And I was like, really? Really? Okay, okay, I'll, be a, I'll do music education. And so I did music education for a couple semesters. And he goes, what are you doing? You're going to audition for the symphony. And I went, what? Me? Me audition for the principal of symphony? And... It just blew my mind. So, and now I play everywhere. I'm in Mobile Symphony, and you can read my bio. It's all in there. I won't explain everything that I put in the bio. But I am just really fortunate that I was able to take lessons. And so taking private lessons really are crucial. And also, not from, I would recommend, not from the same person. I mean, it's really important that you get lessons from as many teachers as you possibly can. As many teachers as you can, because they're all going to say something different. They may even say something contradictory. They may say the opposite. And it doesn't matter because what really matters is you becoming a happier, healthier, more talented musician. Because I hey, that's why we're all here, right guys? Is that why we're here? Isn't that why you signed up? Yes. Okay. Okay, so thank you so much, and here's my sister. <laughs> that I have 
in my whole career so far. And I'm still going, I'm still learning, I'm still playing. But I wouldn't be where I am had I not really expressed the desire to teach us <laughs> that we need <laughs> lessons. Um, so all of these kids have potential, they have such potential to have a career in music. And as, as a performer to a parent, your support is so important. And financial support as well. So I would say private lessons, I can't stress enough how important they are. Thank you guys for making me blush here, but uh, I, I remember that, uh, that moment when, when I started uh, teaching this too, and uh, they were tremendously talented, that's, that's, that's for sure, from the very beginning, I, I knew something special there. Uh, among those kids, they're all special, they're all talented, I don't see anyone there who potentially cannot be a, a great musician like this too. Uh, so, um, yeah, I would encourage you to continue and to work hard by yourself with, with your teachers uh, at, at, at school, find an opportunity to, to, to have lessons, and uh, find an opportunity to, to play together. And because, you know, it's a very special uh, special thing, and I know many schools give this opportunity to, to, to play in quartets and small ensembles. Uh, keep going. Uh, I think it's time to let them play. <laughs> As we say, break a leg.